how does this manifest? How does this, how does this look to somebody else when you're interacting with them? How do you behave when you have a thought that you don't really deserve a guy or a good guy or, you know, the right guy or the guy that's in front of you? How do you behave? So one of the ways that you do this is chasing after him after he pulls back or he takes space for himself. And so there's kind of this big kind of confusion thing in, in both the men and the women's dating side. This is actually a big problem with men as well, where women pull away. Like a lot of women don't know this because they just see from their own side where they're like, oh, men pull away all the time. Why are men always pulling away? When men, women actually do it too, it's a big problem that a lot of men have in the women's dating side. And so there's a lot of videos in the men's dating space asking why women pull away, right? So it's kind of interesting. But when, when a guy pulls away, you know, we there's a concept that I talk about and it's this thing called pacing, right? Mirroring his interest. And if he pulls away and he backs off and you really believe that you deserve somebody who treats you well and you, be, you believe that you deserve a great guy, what you're going to do is you're not going to, you're not going to chase after him and try to fight him and try to force him to act a way that you think that he should act. What you're going to do is you're going to relax and you're going to lean back and you're going to find somebody that, you know, and that, that you think is behaving well or, you know, that believes that you're valuable and you're going to chill out and relax. And that's what a person who believes that they're high value would do because they aren't one, they're not putting all of their eggs in one basket, right? They're not just, there's one dude and, and this is the only woman that, the only guy that she's dating. And so she's got all everything contingent on him liking her right so she's she's hanging out with other guys i'm i'm really trying to push this whole abundance thing <laughs> and, and, uh, on everybody because it's so so powerful and it's really really powerful but anyway the point is is that if you want his love and his desire to grow you have to give him some space and you have to pull back a little bit and if he pulls back you know let him pull back and just mirror his interests, his signs of interest, because that's what gives him room to breathe and allows the, his fire of desire to grow into a flame of love, right? That sounded actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll write that down and, and quote myself on that, <laughs> that later. I've been looking for quotes. I've been looking for quotes to, to put out there.